Love and Cherish program time with the Bishop. My name is Bishop Edwin Wissi Brookman, and I'm your host for this, your Love and Cherish program time with the Bishop. And we're very sorry we delayed a bit. You know, normally it's 8 p.m., but because we're having our fasting and prayer convocation, I had to preach. So I just finished preaching, and then I had to quickly run to the studios to come and make sure uh, I don't disappoint our viewers, you know. So that's, um, that's the delay but certainly i believe god has a word for you we've started our fasting and prayer convocation and man tonight was hot here at the rcc sanctuary at hacho in accra here behind the mtm building it's going to be 21 days fireworks and tonight was so explosive people came from everywhere i preached the sound undiluted word of the lord we zoomed it into prayer and after the power of god was demonstrated with miracle signs following I'm telling you, yes, you'll be staying at home, you'll be enjoying these teachings, but I expect you to decide to make a date with the Lord, at least be here one of the days and saturate yourself with the anointing because God is visiting us in an awesome way and I don't want you to be a dropout. I'll be sharing with you what I um, shared with, 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 with God's people today at church. Okay, I won't give you all, otherwise you'll be staying at home all the time and you'll be wishing for us to be coming to preach. You know, I want you to be here at Hacho. So I'll be sharing with you a half of what I thought. And after that, we'll activate the phone lines. It's a prayer week. It's a prayer month. Just in case you have any request in your heart, any need you want us to agree together with, we're going to do that. And I believe God is going to meet you at the very point of your need. You see, the Bible says one will chase thousand, but two will put ten thousand to flight. The Bible says, my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. That I, God, will come down from heaven and heal their land. The Bible says, be anxious for nothing, but in all things but prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving in your heart. Make your request known to God, and the peace of God that transcends all understanding shall keep your heart. All these scriptures are there to let you know God still answers prayer today. Hey, I'm a product of prayer. I'm standing today because we prayed some years ago, and God has been faithful. Prayer still works today. And so we're going for this short breather, and when we come back, I'll be preaching the word, and after that, we'll activate the phone lines. I'll be receiving your prayer request, and I'll be agreeing with you, and I'll be praying for you, and I believe God will certainly meet you at the point of your need. But don't forget, coming Friday, which is the 18th of January, the 2019, Bishop Brookman and the prophetic team of Rima Ministries, we are all coming to Kumasi. All right? We are coming to Kumasi for the prophetic and apostolic Friday all-night service. The theme is one word from God. One word from God. It's at exactly 9 p.m. prompt at the RCC Auditorium, House of Prayer, at the House of Prayer building in Kumasi, last floor, opposite Asida House. All right? The RCC Auditorium, House of Prayer, last floor, House of Prayer building, last floor, opposite Asida House in Kumasi, Edum. We are coming to live on the 18th of January for this prophetic all night. Kumasi, Meshiam Kom. So I'm inviting all of you in the Ashanti region to make a date with the Lord that night on the 18th of January, 9 p.m. prompt. All roads lead to the House of Prayer building, last floor opposite us, the house at Edum. At Edum. Our friends and brothers and sisters, as far as the Bronga Half region and even as far as the Northern region, I'm expecting all of you to meet me there in Kumasi and it's going to be super explosive and I believe God is going to meet us at the point of our needs. Hey, the fast and prayer still continues unabated and God willing, tomorrow we're going to still continue. If you did not start with us today, I'm expecting you to start tomorrow. Let's do it together in the evening. We are all coming together at the Grace Gospel Sanctuary right at Hacho behind the MTM building from 6.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. sharp. All right, so let's go for this short breather and I'll come back. Hey, don't sleep because I've certainly got a word from heaven for you. If you feel like sleeping, sit on your bed at the tip of the bed and get yourself some um, tea or something and just wait for the word of God to come. I love you. And God bless you.
but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving make your requests known to god at the push conference 2019 yes the push conference is a fasting and prayer convocation led by the bishop edwin it will see brookman on the theme praying until something happens so join the rima Calvary center at your station behind the mtn building from the 14th of january to the 1st of february 2019 as we petition god until something happens at 6 30 p.m each night mondays to fridays you can't afford to miss our mega prophetic all night on friday the 1st of february at 9 p.m prompt sunday joint service at 8 30 a.m and the holy ghost service at 5 30 p.m come start your year with a word from the lord at the push conference 2019 remember we are praying until something happens hello praise the lord my name is bishop edwin emerson brookman i'm excited coming your way this wonderful year 2019 telling you of what god has designed for them that love him he will prosper the works of your hands he will prosper your marriage he will prosper every educational pursuit of yours and he will ensure that every expectation of our heart shall never be cut off but hey don't forget that until prayer has gone down miracles will not be released you see i believe in a god who empowers his children to log on to heaven by prayer and download blessings in the heavenlies and bring them here on earth and enjoy the blessings of the lord that's why god has spoken to me explicitly to organize this great apostolic and prophetic all night service for my brothers and sisters in Kumasi Osekrum. Kumasi Osekrum. All right. So I'm inviting all my friends, my loved ones in the Ashanti region and even the Brown Half region and even the Northern region to congregate together at Kumasi the 18th of January 2019. I repeat, the 18th of January 2019. The theme for this great all night is one word from God. One word from God. The time is 9 p.m. prompt. The venue is at the RCC Auditorium, the House of Prayer Building, last floor, opposite Asinda House, Edu in Kumasi. I repeat, the RCC Auditorium, that is the Rima Kavi Center Auditorium, at the House of Prayer Building, last floor, opposite the Asinda House, Edu. This is where the all night is coming off. Don't forget, it's just a one day powerful miracle sound on the prophetic all night on the Friday, the 18th of January 2019. And the theme is One Word from God, 9 p.m. prompt at the RCC Auditorium, House of Prayer, building, last floor of Sydney, the House. Kumasi, Bishop Brookman, Eba. Now, Friday, the 18th of January, we two and four biara. One one day at twenty five book up. Yam Rambi Peter and Aminian can cast you. And I'm telling you, I will preach the word of God. And as you and I know, after the word has been taught, God will confirm his word with signs following. So healings will abound, deliverance will come, prophetic declarations will come, and after that. I'll be impacting the prophetic anointing on every young man who is believing God to walk in the prophetic. Hey, I will also be confirming relationships. I'll be confirming careers. I'll be confirming ministries. I believe you certainly want to be part of this August all night. Your life will never be the same. Meet you there and God bless you. Bye-bye. Welcome back again, and I'm your host, Bishop Edwin Ewisi Brookman, of your loved and cherished program, as usual, Time with the Bishop. Um, what I'm going to share with you is just the half of what I shared with God's people today, being the first night of our prayer and fasting convocation. And I spoke um, on the seven times to pray. All right, the seven times to pray. The first one. According to the book of Psalm, the chapter number 
88 and verse 13. Psalm 88 verse 13. The Bible says that, But to you I have cried out, O Lord. And in the morning my prayer comes before you. So David the psalmist lifted his voice and said, Oh God, to you alone I cry out. And I lift my voice up unto you every morning. So the first when to pray is to pray every morning. And unfortunately, many people are not the morning type at all. You see a woman as late as 4 p.m., she's still wearing a nightgown because they are not the morning type. But I've discovered that if you don't wake up very early in the morning to pray, in the course of the day, a lot of interjections comes in there, all kinds of, you know, um, 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 issues cross your path. You have a phone call and somebody tells you something traumatic, something despondent, and before you realize, you, you, you have the whole day, um, um, you moving about, doing all kinds of things, and you've not spent time to pray. So um, David taught us that we have to learn to pray every morning. So he said, but to you I have cried out, O Lord. And in the morning my prayer comes before you. It's to tell us that never wake up in the morning and set up for the office without waiting on God or praying to the Lord. And so this month of prayer, God is admonishing us that, Whatever step we take, we have to understand that God must be, first of all, the foundation of all the steps we take. Number two, he then went further in Psalm 88 verse 1 and said, O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried out day and night before you. Now when I read in the chapter 88 verse 13 that God and David prayed and said, I have prayed in the morning, I felt it was okay to pray in the morning. Once I was meditating on Psalm 88 verse 1, then I, I, I discovered that David, the same David who said he prayed in the morning now says that, Oh Lord God my salva of my salvation, I've cried out day and night before you. So I realized that David was now saying that praying only day is not enough. You have to pray day and night. So in Psalm 1 verse 1, the Bible says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of the sinner, nor sit on the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree day and night. When you spend time meditating on the word and praying day and night, you become like a tree planted by the rivers of water. You bear your fruit in your season. Your leaves doesn't wither. Whatever you do prospers. And so David is saying, apart from praying every morning, he also decided to pray day and night. Then in Psalm 55 verse 17, I was thinking praying in the morning or day and night was enough until I read Psalm 55 verse 17. And I discovered that the Bible said, David said, evening, morning, and at noon, I will pray and cry aloud. This time he did not say that you must pray only in the morning or only in the evening. He said, evening, in the morning and then at, at noon, I will pray and cry aloud. Now, so David is saying that it's not enough to pray only in the morning. It's not enough to pray only in the evening. You have to also add prayer at noon. Because there are some witches, they are so uncivilized and so uncouth. They don't fly at night. When all of them are flying at night, they decide to fly in the, in the afternoon. <laughs> and so you have to make sure... You have prayer watching your back in the morning, in the, evening, in the afternoon, in the night, at dawn, every day of your life. So he said, the same person who said he prays in the morning and prays in the evening, now he's saying he also adds the known prayer to it, which means that you have to pray in the morning, pray in the afternoon, pray in the night. At the, um, the early church had some hours of prayers. And if you study very carefully, you can see that they were praying in the morning, they were praying in the afternoon, they were praying in the night, at dawn. The Bible says that when Peter and, 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 and John um, um, were going to the temple to go pray at the hour of prayer, it was there they met the lame man sitting in the gate called Beautiful. And the man begged for arms and Peter said, Sir, God, I don't have. And such as I have, I give thee in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And this happened at the hour of prayer, which means that where prayer goes on, crippling problems begin to rise and begin to move. And so God expects us to pray in the morning in the afternoon and then in the night. I thought that was enough until I read in the New Covenant, the book of Luke chapter 6 verse 12. Then I saw Jesus set under perimeters when um, in the book of Luke 6 12, the Bible said, now it came to pass in those days that Jesus went out to the mountain to pray. 
and continued all night in prayer to God. So David in the Old Covenant said he will pray in the morning. Later on he said he will pray in the morning and evening. Later on he said he will pray in the morning, noon, and in the evening. And now Jesus comes and prays all night. To let us know that it's not enough to pray in the morning, it's not enough to pray in the evening, it's not enough to pray in the afternoon. You must sometimes pray all night. That's why RCC, most often, normally at the end of every month, we organize our end of month prayer and prophetic service. An all night service where people travel from everywhere and they come and spend quality time in the Lord, praying and waiting on God, believing God that He meets us at the point of our need. And um, this fasting and prayer convocation is going to end with a mega prophetic all night on the first of February, on the 1st of February, don't forget, on the 1st of February, so don't forget, so keep that um, date in your diary, and it's going to be super explosive, so Jesus prayed all night, and that was the time when he wanted to choose and appoint his disciples, so I realized that when you are taking major decisions in your life, you must do some all night prayers, especially the job, the career you are choosing, the man you're going to call your husband, the woman you're going to call your wife, because you could marry a witch, you could marry a wizard, you understand, so... Jesus prayed all night. He gave a parable once and said, A gardener went to the field to go sow some good seeds, and at night, when men were asleep, the wicked one rose up and planted among the good seeds some thorns, thorns, thistles, and brass. That suggests to me, ladies and gentlemen, that in the night when men are asleep, after you've done laboring the whole day and you go to bed, certain weak and unreasonable people wake up at night and they plan all kinds of things and cajole negativities against God's people. So once in a while, you got to, you got to deny yourself of some sleep. Watch in prayer and believe God that heaven comes down and blesses your family and your life. Then the fifth one to pray is in 1 Thessalonians 5:17. After I read and saw that Jesus prayed on, and I think that was okay, until I realized that Paul in the New Covenant also said that we should pray without ceasing. So I realized that apart from praying in the morning, praying in the noon, praying in the evening, praying um, all night, you must develop the attitude of praying without ceasing. So in your car, you are praying. So me, for instance, I've turned my car into my Holy of Holies. I'll be playing some good music, worship song. And I'll be praying in tongues whilst I'm driving. I'll be worshiping the Lord. In your washroom, you should be praying. Pray without ceasing. In your office, you'll be praying. In your school, you'll be praying. If you get your leisure time, instead of you to go sit and be chatting and be talking about things that cannot feed your spirit, you can spend time talking to God. All right, so you pray without ceasing. And then I thought that was okay until I also came to Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18, where the Bible says, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. So I realized that it's not enough to pray in the morning. It's not enough to pray in the afternoon. It's not enough to pray in the night. It's not enough to pray all night. It's not enough to pray without season. You must pray always. You must pray always. And then the last on the list is in Hebrews 4.16. You must pray when you are in time of need. You must pray when you are in time of need. So Hebrews 4, 16, Therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to him to help in time of need. See, so in time of need, you come boldly into the presence of God to ob obtain mercy in time of need. So when you have need, that's the time you got to pray. So in the book of James, the chapter 5, the verse number 13, the Bible says that is any among you suffering, let him pray. If you've got suffering, if you are suffering financially, maritally, in business, in your health, the antidote as against that situation is prayer. Some trust in chariots and some trust in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord. It's a strong tower. And when the righteous runs into it, they are safe. I'm excited because 2019, the Lord has given us the antidote for all our sufferings and all problems. And that is prayer. And that is why we have decided to begin the year with this 21 days fasting and prayer. I believe if you join soon with us, 2019, December 31st, you call this station and say, Bishop Brookman, your God is indeed a faithful God. I'm excited. This is just a little I would like to share with you. You see, this is the half of the message. You can imagine the whole of the, of the message. Very powerful and very succinct. But you receive more of this. Should you be able to make it tomorrow to our fasting and prayer convocation, prayer and prophetic time? 
at the Grace Gospel Ministries here in Hacho, okay, at the RCC, uh, then Grace Gospel Ministries, RCC, and Hacho behind the MTM building. Hallelujah. God will bless you. We'll be going for a short breather. When we'll come back, we'll activate the phone lines quickly so I can receive some phone calls. It's prayer time. Hey, it is prayer time. So we can agree and zoom in into prayer, log on to heaven, and download some miracles here on earth. But don't forget, Kumasi, Bishop Bookman is coming this very 18th, January 2018. It's a Friday for a mega prophetic all night. And the theme is One Word from God. And the time is 9 p.m. prompt. And the auditorium is at the RCC Auditorium, okay, at the House of Prayer building, last floor, opposite the Asada House at Edo. The 18th of January 2019. I'm coming live. It's going to be super exclusive. And I know God will meet you at the very point of your need. Let's go for a short break and then I'll come back to pray. But in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God at the PUSH Conference 2019. Yes, the PUSH Conference is a fasting and prayer convocation led by the Bishop Edwin Iwusi Brookman on the theme, Praying Until Something Happens. So join the Rima Kavri Center at your station behind the MTN building from the 14th of January to the 1st of February 2019 as we petition God until something happens at 6 30 p.m. each night Mondays to Fridays you can't afford to miss our mega prophetic all night on Friday the 1st of February at 9 p.m. prompt Sunday joint service at 8 30 a.m. and the Holy Ghost service at 5 30 p.m. come start your year with a word from the Lord at the push conference 2019 remember we are praying until something happens. Hello, praise the Lord. My name is Bishop Edwin Ewesi Brookman. I'm excited coming your way this wonderful year 2019, telling you of what God has designed for them that love Him. He will prosper the works of your hands. He will prosper your marriage. He will prosper every educational pursuit of yours. And he will ensure that every expectation of our heart shall never be cut off. But hey, don't forget that until prayer has gone down, miracles will not be released. You see, I believe in a God who empowers his children to log on to heaven by prayer and download blessings in the heavenlies and bring them here on earth and enjoy the blessings of the Lord. That's why God has spoken to me explicitly to organize this great apostolic and prophetic all-night service for my brothers and sisters in Kumasi Osekrum. Kumasi Osekrum. Alright? So I'm inviting all my friends, my loved ones in the Ashanti region and even the Brown Half region and even the Northern region to congregate together at Kumasi. The 18th of January 2019. I repeat, the 18th of January 2019. The theme for this great all night is one word from God. One word from God. The time is 9 p.m. prompt. The venue is at the RCC Auditorium, the House of Prayer Building, last floor, opposite Asinda House, Edu in Kumasi. I repeat, the RCC Auditorium, that is the Rima Kavi Center Auditorium, at the House of Prayer Building, last floor, opposite the Asinda House, Edu. This is where the all night is coming off. Don't forget, it's just a one day powerful miracle sermon, the prophetic all night. On the Friday, the 18th of January, 2019. And the theme is One Word from God, 9 p.m. prompt at the RCC Auditorium, House of Prayer, building, last floor of Sydney as in the house. Kumasi, Bishop Brookman, Eba. Now, Friday, the 18th of January, me tun sa fu biara, wa wa ne ya to eti fi buka. Yam bram be pedi na mi niyeng kani kesi yo. And I'm telling you, I will preach the word of God. 
And as you and I know, after the word has been taught, God will confirm his word with signs following. So healings will abound, deliverance will come, prophetic declarations will come, and after that, I'll be imparting the prophetic anointing on every young man who is believing God to walk in the prophetic. Hey, I will also be confirming relationships, and I'll be confirming careers, and I'll be confirming ministries. I believe you certainly want to be part of this August all night. Your life will never be the same. Meet you there, and God bless you. Bye-bye. But in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God at the PUSH Conference 2019. Yes, the PUSH Conference is a fasting and prayer convocation led by the Bishop Edwin Ewusi Brookman on the theme, Praying Until Something Happens. So join the Rima Calvary Center at your station behind the MTN building from the 14th of January to the 1st of February 2019 as we petition God until something happens at 6.30 p.m. each night, Mondays to Fridays. You can't afford to miss our mega prophetic all night on Friday the 1st of February at 9 p.m. prompt, Sunday joint service at 8.30 a.m. and the Holy Ghost service at 5.30 p.m. Come start your year with a word from the Lord at the Push Conference 2019. Remember, we are praying until something happens. Hello, praise the Lord. My name is Bishop Edwin Ewesi Brookman. I'm excited coming your way this wonderful year 2019, telling you of what God has designed for them that love Him. He will prosper the works of your hands, He will prosper your marriage, He will prosper every educational pursuit of yours. And he will ensure that every expectation of our heart shall never be cut off. But hey, don't forget that until prayer has gone down, miracles will not be released, you see. I believe in a God who empowers his children to log on to heaven by prayer and download blessings in the heavenlies and bring them here on earth and enjoy the blessings of the Lord. That's why God has spoken to me explicitly to organize this great apostolic and prophetic all-night service for my brothers and sisters in Kumasi Osekrum. Kumasi Osekrum. All right? So I'm inviting all my friends, my loved ones in the Ashanti region and even the Brown Half region and even the Northern region to congregate together at Kumasi. The 18th of January, 2019. I repeat, the 18th of January, 2019. The theme for this great all night is one word from God. One word from God. The time is 9 p.m. prompt. The venue is at the RCC Auditorium, the House of Prayer building, last floor, opposite Asinda House, Edu, in Kumasi. I repeat, the RCC Auditorium, that is the Rima Kavi Center Auditorium, at the House of Prayer building, last floor, opposite the Asinda House, Edu. This is where the all night is coming off. Don't forget, it's just a one day powerful miracle sound on the prophetic all night on the Friday, the 18th of January 2019. And the theme is One Word from God, 9 p.m. prompt at the RCC Auditorium House of Prayer building, last floor of Sydney as in the house. Kumasi, Bishop Brookman, Eba. Now, uh, Friday the 18th of January, we turn to phone Biara. We want to hear to eat if we book up. We are going to be paid, and I mean, we can't catch you. I'm telling you, I will preach the word of God. And as you and I know, after the word has been taught, God will confirm His word with signs following. So healings will abound, deliverance will come, prophetic declarations will come, and after that. I'll be imparting the prophetic anointing on every young man who is believing God to walk in the prophetic. Hey, I will also be confirming relationships. And I'll be confirming careers. And I'll be confirming ministries. I believe you certainly want to be part of this August all night. Your life will never be the same. Meet you there. And God bless you. Bye-bye.
you welcome back. My name is Bishop Edwin O.C. Brookman. Still on your love and cherish program, Time with the Bishop. You know, we are about to receive the phone call so I can pray for people just after the message I preach. But um, there's something very important, an announcement very, very important that we really want us to put across before we we'll continue. Here with me in the studio is our winner of Rima Voices in One Fame, Minister Akofa Rita. Akofa. You know, she took the car. <laughs> and we are happy for her life. Um, they've started the studio works very soon. Um, her music is going to come out very soon. Minister Koffer, how are you? Daddy, I'm doing great. We thank God. You are welcome to the Rima TV studios. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how has life been after <laughs> uh, winning the Rima Voices in one? Well, by the grace of God and thanks to the vision God gave you, mm. um, I'm so glad wow. that God made me the winner. And I pray that he'll give me the strength mm. to do what he has purpose for my life. Mm. And life has been good. Oh, yeah? <laughs> life has been good. <laughs> Gradually, my life is changing wow. for the best. Wow. So I just want to thank God. We thank God. We thank God. Very exciting. And um, um, God willing, we are starting the tour, um, starting from Kumasi. Um, on the 18th, we are going to Kumasi for the online. So the Kumasi people are going to see you. Yes. And um, from the judges, I hear that you, uh, you, are, you, are, you have started your studio works. And yes. The, yes. The album will be ready by February. Yes. All right. How many songs on the on the on the on the album? Um, I think it's going to be eight. On eight, yes. eight. Okay, so um, you told us you want who where you come from to be the first place that will launch it. Yes, for so, sure. Yes, they yes. are expecting me. They are expecting you there. Yes. Use ever to tell the whole people that we are coming somewhere February, March, and we are coming <laughs> to launch your song there, <laughs> so they should watch us and expect you. Wow, my way is not too good, but I'm going to try. <laughs> Eh, Novino, Mama, Nyo, Leho, but I could not me, um, February, Bele Moji, Bele Hawana, and February, me, Ava, who Ava were launching, Ava, a big program. At a medical, could not me, me call, but do do that, go support me. Amen. Amen. Medical could support you. So we thank God. And uh, as part of the package, Every winner of Rima Voice would have one hour slot on Rima TV every Saturday, you know, so with a contract for the one, one year, she's going to be on the set on every Saturday, starting from this very Saturday, from 6 in the morning to 7 live worship, where she will lift up the voice with music, there will be instrumentalists, and she will just worship God with you in the comfort of your homes. Starting this very Saturday, and I want you to connect and just zoom in into that atmosphere of worship. But what do we expect um, this very Saturday and the subsequent ones? Yeah. Um, as you'll be leading God's people to worship Him. You know, um, the best way to start your day mm. is to worship God mm. very early in the morning before you step out of your house. Mm. So it's going to be a time of worship, a time of God's presence, the, the Shekinah glory of God will be so much. Mm. So um, I'm indulging you to have time from 6 to 7. Just worship God with us in the comfort of your home and your life will never be the same. Hallelujah. Amen. Every Saturday. This every very Saturday, Saturday through the next one year. Yes. Every morning, every, every Saturday, 6 to 7, live worship. Hey, it's going to be explosive. Yes. And one thing I love about Kofa is that he's anointed. And I believe we'll be praying for the sick. Yes. Yes. My, oh my, my, the oil my. of the bishop <laughs> is upon me. I will prophesy. Oh, glory to God. So we are so grateful. Look into those cameras and then pray for somebody who is sick. It's a prayer month. We are fasting yes. and praying. Somebody who desperately needs a miracle, pray for the person. And then let the hand of God come upon that person. Especially any musician watching us who is discouraged. I want to take this opportunity to encourage them as well. Yes. Thank 
Thank you, Jesus. Wherever you are watching us and listening to us, I don't know what your problem is, but as you believe God with us this evening, yeah. I believe God is going to touch you at the, and meet you at the point of your needs. You can touch the, your TV screen mm. as we pray. Mm. Father, in the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. we give you all the glory for this opportunity. We thank you for the lives of our viewers, O oh God. As many as are watching us this evening, O oh Lord, wherever they are sick, O oh Lord, Father, we are praying that your healing hands will touch them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, distance is not a barrier. Whoever is holding the TV right now, Father, I stand in the oil of my bishop, Edwin, and we see Brookman, and I pray that the healing hand of God will touch them right now. Let the healing power of God flow through them right now through the TV in the mighty name of Jesus. Any musician, any singer, any minister who is discouraged, who is almost giving up, mm. Father, we are praying Hallelujah. that hope will come alive in them Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you touch them, revive them. The book of Psalm says, Will thou not revive us again that your people may rejoice? Father, we are praying in the name of Jesus. Let there be revival. Let there be revival. Let there be revival in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. As many as are believing you, Lord, for a miracle, financial breakthrough, traveling, marriage, or whatever. Father, we are praying that you meet them at the point of their needs right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you. You are a prayer answering God. Father, we thank you for answering our prayers. We give you praise for that testimony that will come. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, a copper is supercharged. This <laughs> even tells you what is going to happen from this Saturday, 6 yes. o'clock to 7, every Saturday morning. God bless you, Akofa. We'll be going for this very short breather and we'll come back up receiving your phone calls. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. But in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God at the PUSH Conference 2019. Yes, the PUSH Conference is a fasting and prayer convocation led by the Bishop Edwin Ewusi Brookman on the theme, Praying Until Something Happens. So join the Rima Calvary Center at your station behind the MTN building from the 14th of January to the 1st of February 2019 as we petition God until something happens at 6.30 p.m. each night, Mondays to Fridays. You can't afford to miss our mega prophetic all night on Friday the 1st of February at 9 p.m. prompt, Sunday joint service at 8.30 a.m. and the Holy Ghost service at 5.30 p.m. Come start your year with a word from the Lord at the post will not be released, you see. I believe in a God who empowers his children to log on to heaven by prayer and download blessings in the heavenlies and bring them here on earth and enjoy the blessings of the Lord. That's why God has spoken to me explicitly to organize this great apostolic and prophetic all night service for my brothers and sisters in Kumasi Osekrum. Kumasi Osekrum. All right. So I'm inviting all my friends, my loved ones in the Ashanti region and even the brown half region and even the northern region to congregate together at Kumasi the 18th of January 2019 I repeat the 18th of January 2019 the theme for this great all night is one word from God one word from God the time is 9 p.m. prompt the venue is at the RCC auditorium the house of prayer building last floor opposite Asinda House Edu in Kumasi. I repeat, the RCC Auditorium, that is the Rima Curry Center Auditorium at the House of Prayer Building, last floor, opposite the Asinda House Edu. This is where the all night is coming off. Don't forget, it's just a one day powerful miracle sermon, the prophetic all night on the Friday, the 18th of January, 2019. And the theme is one word from God, 9 p.m. prompt at the RCC Auditorium, House of Prayer, building, last floor of the house. 
Mwase, Bishop Brookman, Eba. Na, eye, Friday the 18th of January, me tu nsa fu ubiara, mwa mwa ne ya tu eti fi mbuka. Yem rambi pita na mini yem kani kesu nyo. And I'm telling you, I will preach the word of God. And as you and I know, after the word has been taught, God will confirm his word with signs following. So healings will abound, deliverance will come, prophetic declarations will come, and after that, I'll be imparting the prophetic anointing on every young man who is believing God to walk in the prophetic. Hey, I will also be confirming relationships, and I'll be confirming careers, and I'll be confirming ministries. I believe you certainly want to be part of this August all night. Your life will never be the same. Meet you there, and God bless you. Bye-bye. Well, you welcome back. Yeah, like I said, we taught on something very powerful and um, we shared with God's people the seven went to pray. And, uh, the last one we treated was from Hebrews 4, 16. That says, therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to him to help in time of need. And I said, the last point to pray is when you have any need. And I believe that all of us are trusting God for some mind-boggling blessings and miracles in 2019. I want to be your prayer partner tonight. I want us to agree together and pray over some issues. And I believe God is going to supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So we have the phone lines displayed on your screens. You can call. And since we are in prayer month, I'm going to stand with you in prayer. And I believe that as the anointing is so strong here in the studios of the Rima TV, God is going to meet you at the very point of your need. I think we have the first caller. Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Yes, sir. Your name, Hello. please. And where are you calling from? Please, my name is Mark. Calling from Tamale. Oh, okay, Mark, let's hear you, please. Tamale. Uh, I wanted to ask whether it's tomorrow you do program. Um, program as in the uh, prayer and prophetic service in the morning? Yes, yes. Certainly, yes. We are doing it tomorrow morning. Okay, okay. Okay, but uh, I want you to pray for my mom. For her leg, it, it can't work. And so I've even directed them to come this tomorrow. Oh, okay. So I want you to pray for Okay, for okay. Her for me. Okay. Father, we'll join faith with your son. And we leave the man before you. We rebuke the devil and command that devil to take its filthy hand off mom's leg. And we declare mama healed in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. I'll be waiting for your mom. So tell her to come. Yes, certainly. Tomorrow, we are having our prophetic and prayer service in the morning at 9 as usual. And then after that, the counseling session goes on before we do the evening prophetic and fasting and prayer conv convocation. Okay. Hello? Hello. Hello, Abigo. Yes, sir. Good evening. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your name, please, and where are you calling from? I'm Ben from Sugar Papa. Oh, okay. Ben, please let's hear you. Yeah. Yeah. If I, somebody is owing me, I refuse to pay. So, praying that you help me in prayers and he settles me as early as possible. Amen. Amen. Let's join faith together. Father, we agree with Ben, your son. We declare that the person owing him will have sleepless night. May his pillow trouble him until he wakes up one morning and runs to bed to go settle the debt. If he doesn't have the money to, I'm praying that you will make provisions available for him to get it so he can go and settle the debt. I bless Ben and I bless the one owing him as well. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Papa is your daughter, Sheila. Sheila, come on, see. Sheila, God bless you, uh, Sheila. Oh, yeah, Sheila, how are you? God, my Christian, I've been fine. Amen. 
you are ready so you have seen that you are tired if you look at you now <laughs> you are tired by you are ready because you will withdraw everything from you <laughs> god bless you and god give you the strength <laughs> i want you to pray for me and my family for your breakthrough this year amen <laughs> amen amen let's pray god bless I, you, Daddy. amen i lift my daughter sheila before the throne and i ask for blessings on her and the children I rebuke the devil to stay out of their business and I declare that every expectation of their heart shall be fulfilled according to scripture in Jesus' name. Amen. Kumasi, don't forget I'm coming this Friday, 18th of January. And Sheila, I'll be glad to meet you and the family there. God bless you. Hello. 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 Hello, good evening. Good evening. Yes, sir. Your name, please, and where are you calling from? I'm friends calling from Takuma. Okay, friends, let's hear you, please. Uh, what I can say is, is I really like the program too much and I really like your preaching, how you are humble, and we hope bless you for that and continue to bless you and raise you higher. Amen, 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 amen. amen. And it's nice, it, it is about a daughter who stay outside the country, is looking for a two person in the case in court, and I would like you to help me, you know, Amen. We join faith with your son and we declare that wherever the brother is, you will meet the person supernaturally for the doors to open for him to secure the resident permit. Amen. We come against the devourer and declare, come the seventeenth, a miracle will be wrought. And our brother will call to give a testimony in Jesus' mighty name. It is done. Amen. God bless you so much. Yeah. And thanks for um, the encouragement. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Your name, please. And where are you calling from? Um, from Oh, okay. Let's hear you, please. You are in need of marriage. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's pray. I join faith, Father, with your daughter, yes. and we break the power of Satan of her life. We we'll lose divine favor on her and declare in the mighty name of Jesus that 2019. The man appointed by God to marry her will be connected to her and glory will come. For without God, nothing shall be impossible in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Hello. Good evening, Papa. Hello, good evening. Your name, please. Please. My name is Prince and I'm calling from Cedro. Oh, okay. How are you? I'm blessed as well. Wow. Talk to me. Papa, I... I, I believe in, I believe, I believe on the call of God upon your life so much. And I have knelt down. I want you to declare ways upon my life tonight. Amen, amen, amen. Father, I lift your servant before you, wherever he is, as far as Swedro. May the hand of Almighty God come on him. I pray that your hand will lift him up from the mary clay and establish his feet on the rock to stay. Grant him the desires of his heart. And let every closed door on him 2019 be open in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. I'll be waiting for your testimony. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Your name, please, and where are you calling us from? My name is Paul. Calling from the Pastor. Okay, Paul. Please, let's hear you. Yeah. I want I want to change for my bad doings and turn to God so that I will get a fruit from heaven. I will take part of heaven. Wow! That's what I'm asking from God. Wow! This is this has been my best prayer request. You want to turn from your bad ways and then yeah. receive Jesus. What a wonderful and amazing um, um, prayer request! And please, whatever you want, lift your right hand for me. Jesus yeah. loves you, and He came to die for your sins. And with your heart you believe unto righteousness, but with your mouth confess is made unto salvation. So you confess after me. Say, Jesus. Lord Jesus. I believe you came to die for my sins. I believe you came to die for my sins. 
Forgive me of all my sins. Forgive me of all my sins. And change my life. And change my life. And I will serve you the rest of my days. And I will serve you the rest of my life. Amen. Amen. Well, Father, bless your son and I break the power of son. And ask that the Holy Spirit will supersaturate him and help him to serve you as effective as expected all the days of his life in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, find yourself a Bible-believing church, wherever you are. He said he's around um, Asante Bekwai, there about. Okay. We have very, very wonderful churches, the Assemblies of God, Pentecost, Lighthouse. Um, our branch is not there, but all these churches I've mentioned are very powerful churches. Okay, Methodist. So find yourself a Bible believing church where the Word of God is taught, all right? And where the pastor has integrity, and go join them and serve the Lord and grow and mature your faith there. And I'll be glad Hello. to meet you in heaven. Amen. Hello? Yeah. Good evening. Yeah. Please, can I speak to you? Can I speak to the bishop? Yes, sir. Your name, please. Yeah, this is Pastor Emmanuel Oboasi. Ah, Pastor Emmanuel, how are you? Thank you. Yeah, talk, <laughs> talk to me. <laughs> thank you so much. I want to thank you for the great job you are doing. Amen. Uh, we thank you. We bless tonight. Wow. God, we truly bless your ministry. Amen. 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 My regards to all the Oboasi people. <laughs> Bye-bye. Hello. 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 Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Yes, sir. Your name, please. I'm Governor Poku from the north. Governor Poku from the north. Okay, Governor, let's hear you, please. The first name is Tamba. Banda. The good Lord, Tamba, Tamba. Tamba, okay, okay. Yeah. Let me say, the Lord bless you. Amen. I have a problem like that I want to tell you. I always had the desire to do God's will. But I always see my horizon and falling. Now it's right in there. Any demon against your progress, resisting you from doing what God has called you today to do, we break that demon, we test that demon. And I lose the presence of the Holy Spirit to come upon your life. And I declare that ministry will be easy. This up, rise and fall spirit will be taken out of your life. And you stay focused and you serve the Lord as best as you can in Jesus' name by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. God bless you. Hello. Hello. Yes, good evening. Good evening, Daddy. Yes, your name, please, and where are you calling us from? I'm called to from Akai. Oh, okay. Boko? Yes, Pastor. Wow, Joshua, let's hear you, please. Please, Daddy, I have to, I want the Lord to take care of me. It's my heart to be taken. Joshua, Joshua, we're, we're, we're having some wrong feeds. Can you turn just a little so that I can hear you? I really want to hear the request. I'm saying. Okay, um, he's oh, he always likes financial support, but I want to know if he said he wanted to come to Accra. I'll pray for you, but after the after when I'm when I'm out of the studio, please call back and um, uh, the team make sure if he calls and he says Joshua, let me if he wants to come to Accra. Um, then let me know so that we can send him some money so that he can come because it's very important. Father, I bless Joshua and I release your grace on his life and demand that financial doors will open for him in Jesus' mighty name I've prayed. Amen. God bless you, Joshua. Let me take my last three calls. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Your name, please, and where are you calling us from? Calling from? Yeah, Bishop, I'm going for your life. Amen. Uh, I'm very requesting that I want to use source wow. for God. Wow. So I can do that, please. To use source for God. Wow. 
That, that's powerful. The desire to win souls for God. The evangelistic grace. Let's pray. Father, I lift your wish before the throne. I'm pleading the fresh anointing of God for evangelism to come on him. The Bible says, he that wins a soul is wise. I lose that anointing on his life. And I pray that you would touch his tongue that whoever he speaks to, conviction will break forth in the hearts of the people and bring them to the cross so they can serve the Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. God bless you also for that desire to witness souls for the Lord. That's my passion. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Your name, please. This is my, uh, Lucia. Lucia, calling from? Lucia, calling from Tessie. Oh, Lucia, how are you? I'm blessed, Daddy. Thank you so much for all you do. Amen. I'm eternally grateful. God bless you, thank you. Amen. And then my request is that I'm believing God for marital breakthrough this year. Amen. 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 God will give it to you in Jesus' name. Let's pray. I lift my daughter Lucia before the throne. I come against every attack of the devil on her marriage and I lose favor on her that whoever you have appointed for her will come and this year she will be wedded in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, Lucia. I'm waiting for your testimony. Hello. Uh, hello, good evening. Good evening, daddy. Your name, please, and where are you calling us from? This is Monica from Valletta. Oh, okay, Monica, how are you? Maybe I'm fine, you're out Very well, talk to me. I'm sure you can use it for the sake of the week. Put your right hand on your tummy for me. Okay. Any demon was vowed never to let you have your own child. I curse that demon. I rebuke the spirit of fibroid and I release the anointing of God to touch you and declare that when you meet your husband, there shall be a performance. For without God, nothing shall be impossible. You shall be called mother of twins. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. Did I say that? She should be called mother of twins, which means that God is going to give you twins. So begin to be excited and begin to pray through. And I'm telling you, a testimony is coming very soon. God bless you. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Daddy. Yes, sir. Your name, please. And where are you calling us from? Hello. Daddy. Yes, I can hear you. Your name, please. And where are you calling us from? My name is Fort. I'm calling from Brickhorn. Oh, okay, Foster, let's hear you, please. Um, please, David, I'm into the prophetic ministry, and I want you to pray for me so that I can have what is on your life. Amen. Let's agree. I agree, Father, with Foster. Freely we've received, freely we give. I pray that the grace on our lives will come upon him, and you use him mightily in the area of the prophetic to be a blessing to many lives. In Jesus' mighty name, I've prayed. Amen. God bless you, Foster. My two last calls. Two last calls. Hello. I can see the WhatsApp line already displayed there. So just in case you want to send us any WhatsApp message. Hello. 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 Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Bishop. Yes, sir. Your name, please, and where are you call, calling us from? My name is Samuel Cross from Kitko. Okay, Samuel, let's hear you. Uh, Bishop, um, I want to thank one um, for great job that you are doing in Ghana. Amen. Um, I'm a man of God. Um, Oh, this, this line went off. He was really saying something very important. It's called again. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Your name, please. My name is Daniel. 
name is Isaac from Gordon from Berlin. Okay, Isaac, glad to hear you, please. Okay. Maybe I have a, I need a financial break in my life, so I have a lot of... Your call has been put on hold. Please wait. Your call has been put on hold. Okay. So we'll be going for just a very short break and when we come back I'll be responding to WhatsApp messages. People have sent a couple of messages. Keep sending. I think we had a slight problem with the internet but we're going to fix it. So you send the messages and then I'll be reading them and I'll be praying for you. Let's go for the short breather. We'll come back I'll be responding. But in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God at the PUSH Conference 2019. Yes, the PUSH Conference is a fasting and prayer convocation led by the Bishop Edwin Ewusi Brookman on the theme, Praying Until Something Happens. So join the Rima Calvary Center at your station behind the MTN building from the 14th of January to the 1st of February. February 2019 as we petition God until something happens at 6 30 p.m. each night Mondays to Fridays you can't afford to miss our mega prophetic all night on Friday the 1st of February at 9 p.m. prompt Sunday joint service at 8 30 a.m. and the Holy Ghost service at 5 30 p.m. come start your year with a word from the Lord at the push conference 2019 remember we are Praying until something happens. Hello, praise the Lord. My name is Bishop Edwin Ewesi Brookman. I'm excited coming your way this wonderful year 2019, telling you of what God has designed for them that love Him. He will prosper the works. You welcome back. Um, so I'll be reading your WhatsApp messages. And then I'll be praying for you. This one says, Hello, Bishop. I love you so much for your timely message. Please pray for me and my wife so that this year, 2019, we can have our baby. The name you said is Eric and your wife is Naomi. Father, pray for Eric and Naomi and I ask that you will meet them at the point of their needs. I break the power of Satan contending with the ability to bear fruit and I declare that, Father, you would visit them this year, 2019, in Jesus' name. Amen. This one also says that my name is Mr. Boating and there is a curse on our family. Bishop, please pray and revoke the curse for us. Certainly, I will do that. Let's agree. Father, I agree with Mr. Wharton. We declare that the curse be revoked from off his life. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. This one also says, Bishop, my name is Mr. Bedu. And I'm trusting God for financial breakthrough 2019. Please pray for me that my expectations will never be cut off. I will certainly do that. Let's agree. Father, pray for Mr. Bedu. Every demon that is risen against his finances will come against that demon. We declare that the Holy Ghost will grant him the desires of his heart. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray with thanksgiving. Amen. And then this one says that Bishop Amamiya, Amiya from Kwabinya, I ask God for marital breakthrough and divine help us this year. Amen. I prophesy that this desire of yours will come to pass in Jesus' name and God will open the door for you to meet your helpers. For without God, nothing shall be impossible. And then this one says, Hello, prophet, please. My name is George from Kumasi. May, may pastor tell me I will be a prophet. My pastor, please, I want you to pray for me so that I can see clear and hear the voice of God. All right. I pray for 
um, you, George, and demand that the glory of God will come upon you so that whatever your prophet has said over you about being a prophet will come to pass. But let me just say this. You, within you, do you also have that connection that you are also called to prophet? Whatever any prophet tells you, you have to have a witness within your spirit. Okay? So you have to look at that. And then this one says, Daddy, good evening. My name is Bobby. Thank you for the powerful message tonight. Daddy, kindly confirm this, these two ladies for me. Which one is God's will for me? Pictures below. Um, Bobby, only one picture came. Just one picture. And then I need your picture as well. So please send the two, yourself and then the other lady. Then let me see what God would have me say to you. Um, this one says that um, a lot of messages. Hello, Daddy. This is Raymond's wife from Half Asni. I've been dreaming that Edwina is dead and she she's been having abnormal hot temperature. The doctor says she has an infection. Whatever you are with Edwina, I take authority over her and I break the power of the devil of her life and declare that infection is leaving her body in the name of Jesus. I bless you and your husband, Raymond, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. And then... This one, uh, you sent me a poster. This one says, my name is David, David Weiss. Papa, declare for my destiny helpers to locate me. David, I prophesy that 2019, your destiny helpers will certainly locate you by fire in Jesus' mighty name. For if God opens the door, nobody shuts it. This one says, Daddy, God will say bless you for the good work you are doing. Thank you very much, and I receive the blessing. But Daddy, my problem is that I have so much desire for ministry, but I can't hear and see. And I want the good, I want the good to bless. I want God to bless me with the gift to effectual my evangelism. Hello, Daddy. I'm Kobana Poku from Chamba. Please pray for me to receive the grace to see and hear. The grace to see and to hear. Okay. I pray, Father, that you touch Kabana and the power of God comes on him. You see mightily for your glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I know in the haste when you are typing, there could be some typo mistakes, but make sure you type very well so that I can read it since I'm on set, so that it will not be like Obedrizam oh, Timbrof. You understand? Yeah. And then this one says, Good evening, Papa. I thank God for what you're doing. I want you to pray for my family and so for um, God's favor for the year by God sent from Kwong. Okay, God sent. So I pray to release favor on you and I declare that the power of the Holy Ghost will come upon your life. I repeat the devil to start of your business. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to know, God sent, is that my own God sent, my son God sent from Kwong? If it's God sent, that, that the God sent I know, try to call me off air and let's talk. It's been a long time. And this one says that, hello, Bishop, watching you live from Sierra Leone. These are your twins. Please pray for us for financial breakthrough and healing. The twins. Hey, girls, how are you? It's been a long time. This year, I'm coming to um, Sierra Leone. Yeah, Sierra Leone, I'm coming this year. And so get prepared. It's going to be very massive. And the twins, yeah, I remember you. Yeah, yeah, my girls. I bless these girls and pray that this year, they will have testimonies to tell according to all the prophecies that have been released upon them. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. My regards to your sister. And the, this one. Hey. The messages are too much, so the thing is freezing. And then this one says that. Um, okay, so you've sent the pictures for yourself and then the lady. Okay. Uh, the first one. The first one. The Abena. Yeah. Forget about the other one. Forget about AC and take up now. So that's what I'm saying. God bless you. And um, this one says, um, my name, uh, hi, dad. My name is a champion, Priscilla. Okay. I always dream, dream of ministry in a big congregation. Daddy, please pray that any prophetic word concerning my life should come to pass. And I also pray for your prophetic anointing. I release it upon your life, Priscilla, and declare that as you've been seeing yourself ministering to many lives, it will manifest physically and you can be a blessing to your world and your generation in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This one says, Bishop, I'm Ben in Kumasi. Please pray for me. I'm in great debt. And also I need financial breakthrough. Ben, I pray in Jesus' mighty name 
that the spirit of indebtedness has been broken from off your life and grace will find you and God will lead and usher your steps for you to succeed in every endeavor of yours. In Jesus name. This one says, good evening. Um, good evening, Bishop. This is Faustina from Water Red Naflau. You are looking smashing this evening. Hey, thank you. <laughs> May God bless you for the prayer you offered to me the last time I visited at you. Since then, it's like a heavy load has um, been lifted off my shoulders and I feel so light. Please, Bishop, I need a word for my family. Thank you. Wow. Firstly, I prophesy over your life that 2018 will be, 2019 will be better than 2018. I pray to declare stability in your home and I pray that God will cause your husband to love you more than before. I bless you and the entire family in Jesus' mighty name. I pray with thanksgiving. Glory be to God. Amen. And then, um, let me read the last three messages. Hello, good evening, please. My name is Samuel Cape Coast. I need your oil. So please, can you pray for me? I pray that the oil of my life will come on you, Sammy. And God will use you mightily for his glory in Jesus' mighty name. And this one says, Daddy, please need impartation of your anointing and breakthrough for my ministry all right i pray that god will anoint you and i impart you with a prophetic grace and declare that the heavens will grant you the desires of your heart and will cause you to flow as never before in the prophetic ministry then this one say please bishop it's me again joy please yes i can feel the power in me but i lack the confidence to say it because i fear it might not be true come on the fact that that thing is there the yearning alone okay is a proof that God is really speaking to you to step out and fulfill your mandate on your life. Because the devil will never create a desire in you to serve God and to even preach. He came to steal, to kill, and destroy. So when you see stirrings in you, it means the zeal of the Lord has come into you and wants to perform something through you. Avail yourself. Go talk to your pastor. If there's any Bible school that can help you to attend, go and develop yourself from there and become the best you are supposed to be to be your generation amen this one says that hi please good evening daddy please pray for me because my, for my second time to write wasi i couldn't pass my maths i need your prayers to pass my upcoming wasi on the 5th of april so i'm done on the 5th of may please i'm benedicta kunedu brobe from ashtown okay benedicta i pray that you would pass this particular wasi with flying colors and you call on this set to give a testimony in Jesus mighty name I'll pray for the last person and I'll be done for today a lot of message coming daddy I know the good Lord have given you the eye to see is there something wrong with me you can see that I should stop <laughs> this prayer request is funny you Wangaza is there something wrong with you that you have to stop okay if there's anything wrong with you that you have to stop, you have to quickly stop. But the way you are dressed, there's nothing wrong with you. I can see with your Bible, your coat, dress well for ministry. There's nothing wrong with you. It's condemnation that makes us sometimes think there's something wrong with us. There's now therefore no condemnation for those who are in Christ. Jesus in Romans 8 verse 1. Them that walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. You are not condemned. Nothing wrong with you. All that is wrong with you is that Jesus loves you so much. So have that faith and receive that love step out there be a blessing to your generation i won't come to condemn you because that's not my work i'm a minister of the new covenant according to second corinthians chapter 3 verse 16. the letter kill it that's the law but the spirit bring it life i'm here to give life and to let you know you have life to the full you are special and all your condemnations have been hung on the coverage cross Christ exhausted all that condemnation, now wounded for your transgressions, bruised for your iniquity, and the chastisement of his peace, your peace was laid upon him and by his stripes, you are healed. On this note, I would want to say, if you are not born again, and the enemy is throwing all kinds of accusations against you, I want you to know the Lord loves you so much. And what you're supposed to do is to receive his love by repeating these words after me. Say, Jesus, I believe you are the son of the living God. You came to die for my sins. On the third day you resurrected from the grave. You are alive forever. Therefore I invite you to come into my heart. Change my life. And I'll serve you the rest of my days. Hey, if you pray that prayer, I want you to know you are born again. Tonight your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. 
Find yourself a Bible, believe in children, pastors, integrity. Go join them and serve the Lord with all your heart. But if you are in Accra at Hachu or at Kabinya, Pokiasi, ACP, um, Wells, uh, West Legon, East Legon, North Legon, all the Legons, you know Hachu is the center of all these places, Medina, Adenta. And I'm inviting you to join us in one of our services. Like tomorrow, for instance, we are having our prayer and prophetic service starting from exactly 9 in the morning to 1.30 p.m. It will be explained. Don't forget it's a fasting and prayer time. So I'm supercharged and tomorrow is going to be heavy. God will use me to minister to the sick. God will use me to minister to those who have marital problems, financial problems, business problems, ministerial problems. And I'm releasing the glory of God to come on God's people. Come and receive a prophetic word after we have prayed together. After that, I'll be sitting down to counsel with people. If you want to meet me one-on-one, -on -one, hey, don't forget I'm fasting. So <laughs> I'm charged and the eye of the prophet is open like something. When you sit before me, I know God will certainly download some things from everywhere to come and study how to become an effective prophet. Praise the Lord. In the old time, olden days, in the days of Elijah and Elisha, they had a prophetic colleges, like in Bethel and Gigal, in, 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 in Jericho, in Jordan, they had prophetic colleges. So it's not wrong to study, to be effective in the prophetic, all right? And so you just walk into our office and then pick the form. The form is 100 cities. The form is 100 cities. When you pick it, um, school begins at the first Sunday of February. And then from there, the classes continues. It's a six-month course, and it is every Saturday from 10 in the morning to 4 p.m. We want to grow in the prophetic. I have been in the prophetic for 30 something years and I know God has given me some experience I can share with people that can really bless them. So I'm encouraging you to enroll now and I know God will certainly bless your life. Finally, I'm coming to Kumasi the 18th of January. It's an all night, it's a Friday. It's an all night. The theme is one word from God. The time is 9 p.m. prompt and the venue is at the RCC Auditorium at the House of Prayer building at the last floor, okay, opposite the Asida House. And then Cape Coast, Iguay, Cape Coast. I'm coming there also on the 25th of January. The 25th of January. It's a Friday, the 25th of January, for the One Word from God prophetic all night at exactly 9 p.m. It's happening at the RCC Auditorium, Antem New Site, at Cape Coast. Antem New Site. It's going to be very powerful. I want to draw the curtain tonight. But I want to say, God bless you. And may the angels of God protect your life as you go to bed. May no weapon formed against you be able to prosper. Don't forget we are fasting tomorrow. I love you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Good night. But in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God at the PUSH Conference 2019. Yes, the PUSH Conference is a fasting and prayer convocation led by the Bishop Edwin Iwusi Brookman on the theme, Praying Until Something Happens. So join the Rima Kavri Center at your station behind the MTN building from the 14th of January to the 1st of February 2019 as we petition God and